I'm going to talk about how to parent through a panic attack, no matter who is having the panic attack, or if everybody's having the panic attack. Happy Hackers, it's Jody here. Thank you so much for watching this episode where I'm going to share how to parent through a panic attack. Because you know if you have panic attacks, it affects everything that you do in the moment because you're in your head and it's hard to be in the present with your kids. And if your kids are having a panic attack, you feel out of control because they are suffering and you can't do anything about it enough to drive you crazy and put you into your own panic attack. Quite often, it actually does. Before I go into it, please subscribe to my channel because I don't want you to miss anything. All right, let's first talk about how to parent when you are having a panic attack because this is for real, isn't it? This is for real. You are trying to help yourself. You're trying to stay in control. You're trying to stay present in this world because you feel like you're losing your mind. You feel like you're disassociating from reality and you are in charge of the most precious thing in the entire world, your baby. And babies are all ages. I'm not talking literally, but sometimes it is literally a baby, but sometimes it's a toddler and sometimes it's a school age kid and sometimes it's a teenager. And sometimes they're 20 or 30 or 40 years old and you're having a panic attack, but they need you. They need you as a parent their whole life. So I'm gonna call them babies, but you know what I mean. So if you're having a panic attack and you are present with your kids and you may decide to let them know or you may want to hide it. That is your choice to make. You could do either one. But when you're having a panic attack, the best thing that you can do is try to get into the present moment. Anxiety has you up here in your head and you want to get yourself into your body. You want to get out of that head, which is thinking of all kinds of negative things, so perpetuating the anxiety. And the negative things could just be like, oh my God, what am I going to do right now? How am I going to get through this because I have anxiety right now? Yeah, that's negative. <laughs> it's in your head. It's those things that you're thinking, no matter what it is. I mean, anxiety has all kinds of content that it tries to tell you to keep you scared. You know, it tells you that this is going to be bad or that's going to be bad. Or how are you going to deal with this or that? There's a million different content things that anxiety can tell you. All are lies. All of them are lies. Listen, Anxiety wants you to pay attention to all those things, but if you pay attention to all those things, you're going to perpetuate the anxiety. If you want to know what I'm talking about, I, I teach this biology of anxiety so you can really understand what it is and demystify it in my class, jodyamon.com slash class. That's my banished anxiety class in two doable steps. You got to watch that class. But anxiety wants you to focus on all these things. And I want you to get into your body as soon as possible. I want you to get into the present moment. And parenting, because it is such a priority in your life, because your babies are so precious, 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 focus on parenting. Focus on what they're doing in the moment. If they're showing you their little dance, or if they're asking you for something, this is going to bring you back to the moment. Immediately the anxiety says, oh no, that's not going to help. You're going to do that. and They need that and you can't do it. Don't listen to the anxiety. You could definitely do it. You could definitely make them some food or get them this or listen to what they're saying or whatever, because that is going to help. But the anxiety doesn't want you to do that. The anxiety wants you to stay anxious. So it's not going to tell you the truth there. It's going to lie. If you need to excuse yourself for a couple moments, if you have the aged child that you can do that to, excuse yourself into the bathroom for a minute, but don't isolate yourself for too long. Don't go in bed and pull the covers over your head. You need to keep moving. When you stop and just give over your whole mind to anxiety, it gets worse. You need something to do, and if your child needs you, perfect. All of your love and your attention and your energy on them. It'll take you out of your head and into your body and help you calm down faster. If overall you're having a problem with anxiety, please come to my website, jodiamid.com slash anxiety, and I will help you overcome your anxiety completely. All right, now if your kid has anxiety, the single most best thing that you can do when your child is having a panic attack distract them. 
Okay, they are the same. They're going to be thinking the anxiety is like a beacon for your attention. Look at me. This is awful. This is awful. You can't handle it. It's awful. It's awful, right? You want to take their attention from that onto something else, anything else. Preferably something funny, something fun, something that's really going to engage the mind. This is very engaging. The anxiety is very engaging. And so you need something to distract them that is really engaging, a really good story, a really funny story, a really physical activity, something. You know, sometimes you just put them in the car and take them somewhere. Just the shift in energy helps them come out of that space in their mind. So I hope you like these two tips, one for you, one for your kids, but really they're both for both of you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like it and share it because there's lots of parents going through the same thing you do. You are not alone. And if you want more from me, you could come on over to my website, jodyamon.com, where I have videos and articles on how you could release fear and anxiety and bring love and happiness into your life. And while you're there, sign up for email updates because I got this MP3 that I give away. How to let go with no longer is serving you in three practical steps. I actually tell you how to do it. I don't just convince you to let go. I tell you how to let go and you need that because you don't want to hold on to this stuff any longer. All right. All right. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel because I put a new video out each week and I don't want you to miss it. I'll see you right here and until then be present and let the you that you want to be shine through.